So I have four videos on my channel that rightfully center Sir Kid Starver as the villain. But after consuming Kendrick Lamar's dismantling of BBL Jersey. I realized that my burning hatred of Kier would have been received as something quite amateur. So with that lesson learned, I have these words on repeat in my head whenever I see any footage of Sir Kier Rodney Starmer. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. And this pledge to do better as a hater was immediately met with an opportunity to act. Because, you know... Keir did something stupid again. I'm delighted to welcome Natalie Elphick to the Labour Party. She's got a strong track record on issues such as housing. She's on the front line when it comes to the crisis of small boats. And the reason that she's given for joining the Labour Party is very, very important because I think she speaks for very many Tory voters in saying that uh, the Tory Party has changed. It's left the centre ground. Uh, but equally, the Labour Party has changed, and we are very clearly the party of the national interest, of country first, party second. Natalie is a true villain, and it speaks to the current state of the Labour Party that Natalie can electric slide across the aisle into the ample bosom of Keir, while people like Diane Abbott and Jeremy Corbyn are banished to the Phantom Zone. Which left me begging the question, who is welcome in the Labour Party? But before we get to Natalie, I think it would be helpful to flesh out the man that would be her husband for 26 years. Believe me, I hate centering a man in a video about how terrible a woman is, but it will make sense in the end, I promise. Charlie Elphick served as a Member of Parliament for Dover from 2010 to 2019, mostly as a Conservative and sometimes as an Independent. I checked his voting record during those nine years and I can confirm this man is the gold standard when it comes to being a piece of Ooh. He voted against the income tax, Mr. Corbyn's amendment, which would have taxed higher earners, the opposition day universal credit discussion twice, which essentially asked the government to not rush the implementation of the program because it will hurt the most vulnerable. Keep universal credit in mind for later in his story. The opposition, windrush discussion, which speaks for itself, the children and young persons, early years provision discussion, because who wants to see children flourish or reach their full potential? And the children and young persons, free school lunches discussion, because starving children is Tory policy 101. I could go on but I would be here all day because those votes mentioned only happened in 2018 and 2019. When Charles isn't actively voting to make the world a worse place to live in during his day job, he is sexually assaulting his staff during his day job. Charles was convicted of three counts of sexual assault against two women in July 2020. He was subsequently sentenced to two years in an open prison and ordered to pay £35,000 for the cost of prosecution. Because Charles was such a good boy in open prison, he only had to serve half the time because even when they believe women, they don't want to punish the perpetrators too much. After being released, Charles was dragged back into court for the small matter of the unpaid £35,000. This gimp actually stood in court and said, I have no job. I have no career. I am long-term unemployed. Employed. I am working with the job center and my probation officer to find a new career. I have made a claim for universal credit. I am separated from my wife who has filed for divorce. I have had to find a new place to live." End quote. I just love when horrible people get to feel the sharp end of a world they helped to build. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Anyway, let's move on because I don't think my nipples can get any harder speaking about the downfall of of a waste of skin, which allows us to spin the block on Natalie. She worked as a lawyer for the Inland Revenue for two years. You know, 
that form a government department that would rather chase a shop assistant for that 50 pound in unpaid taxes than google for the billions they obviously owe natalie was also the chief executive of the housing and finance institute which was as bogus as the name suggests natalie eventually became the mp for dover in 2019 after a vacancy appeared following her then husband being charged with sexual assault i just love our democracy was there nobody else available in dover apart from the wife of the previous pervert but natalie's subsequent behavior suggests she was probably the perfect person for the seat leaked messages showed that natalie was not happy with marcus rashford missing a penalty in the euro 2020 final saying he should have spent more time perfecting his game and less time playing politics because marcus was making sure children didn't go hungry such a normal thing to write as a 50 year old person natalie was present throughout charles's sexual assault trial the court heard charles groped one of his accusers chased her around his house and sang i'm a naughty tory i'm a naughty tory what a complete dickhead even after being found guilty, Natalie was quoted as saying Charles was charming, wealthy, charismatic and successful, attractive and attracted to women. Such a normal thing for a 50 year old person to say. In response to the sentencing, Natalie said Charles had behaved badly. This is absolutely diabolical. Toddlers behave badly when they have a tantrum in the middle of a supermarket. I wouldn't apply that label to men that chase frightened women around their house. Anyway, Natalie believed the sentence was excessive. Remember, the sentence was two years in open prison and a fine of £35,000. In my opinion, it wasn't hard enough. And thank God they caught Charles when they did, because we all know what happens when predators aren't checked early enough. With that all being said, Natalie and two other MPs were given one day suspensions from Parliament for attempting to influence senior judges in her husband's sentencing appeal after the conviction for sexual assault such a normal thing for a 50 year old person to do who the blazes did she think she was pablo escobar actually saying that out loud pablo may have had more morals with all these missteps in the rearview mirror natalie crossed the floor on the 8th of may 2024 here she is citing her reasons well, in 2019, the Conservatives stood on a manifesto that was very much centre ground. But under Rishi Sunak, they've abandoned the centre ground and broken many election promises. Meanwhile, under Keir Starmer, Labour have changed. And I think that change is going to bring a much better future for our country. And that's why I'm so keen to join the Labour Party and play my part in bringing that important future forward. I don't know whether pushing through a hard Brexit and introducing a points-based immigration system is the centre ground. But what do I even know? The political dial broke a long time ago in the UK. The Labour Party chair, who resembles a substitute teacher from Hogwarts, said that Natalie was a good, natural fit for her party. And I don't actually disagree. The Labour Party today is what the Tory party was 2010 to 2015. A right-wing entity that seemed to do everything with a heavy heart but did it nonetheless. Who remembers all that big society bullshit? This latest defection is the clearest indication of what Labour will look like in government. A party not interested in making big changes, only turning back the clock 10 years, 12 years at the most. With all that being said, this defection gave me some of the best twitter and yes i am dead name in an app political posts in a little while users posted other likely candidates real or fake that would be welcomed into the labor party under the leadership of sir Keir rodney starmer i know it's supposed to be hyperbole but enoch powell would love this current version of the labor party the guardian wrote this puff piece about the defection highlighting that natalie was sorry for defending her ex-husband charles natalie is quoted as saying the period of 2017 to 2020 was an incredibly stressful and difficult one for me as I learned more about the person I thought I knew. I know it was far harder for the women who had to relive their experiences and give evidence against him. I have previously and do condemn his behavior towards other women and towards me. It was right that he was prosecuted and I'm sorry for the comments I made about his victims. I guess during that period in question 
Christian Natalie was 23 to 20. Nope, she was 47 to 50 years old. Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Leaving this stupid article to one side, leaving the UKIP inspired photo with the Union Jack flag and Union Jack scarf to one side. This whole situation is part of the Sir Starmer master plan and takeover. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. He is coming for the Tory voter. This will either be done by defections or manifesto policies, but it's going to happen. I read a study that left-wing voters were the most loyal and rarely ever switched voting patterns. This could be due to the lack of choice or believing in incremental change of the largest socialist party. Right-wing voters are fickle and travel to the places they can hear the dog whistles the loudest. I think it's time for leftists and progressives to really show that they cannot be taken for granted and finally bin this Labour Party forever. You're not welcome in this Labour Party and you are setting yourself up for disappointment. A hung parliament might be the best thing for everyone. At least if the next Labour government can't do anything, they can't do any further damage. Yeah, so in case you haven't already got the message, I have now designated this channel the official tier one hater federation for everything Sakir Rodney Starmer. If he has a million haters, I'm one of them. If he has 500 haters, I'm one of them. If he has one hater, it is only me. And if there's no more haters left on this planet, I have left this mortal coil. So with that being said, um, please comment down below what you thought do you agree with my assessment will you be voting labor at the next general election don't forget to like subscribe share with a friend and if you're feeling really generous please check out my patreon account i'll see you very soon okay ciao